Mike Illich was a real Detroiter. Born in the city on July 20th, 1929, he grew up on the west side and his love of sports was evident from an early age. After a stint in the Marines, he signed a minor league contract in 1952 with the Tigers for $3,000 and spent the next four years in the minors. But a knee injury ended his playing career and his business career, well, that was about to begin. In 1959, he opened his first Little Caesars in Garden City and Mike Illich was on his way. By the 80s, his pizza empire was thriving, so he turned his attention to sports, where he became a huge success because he always remembered the fans. I lay back in the bed and I think, you know, I said, all the places that are happy, thousands of bars, and, and you know, I'm so appreciative of their fans, and, and, uh, and it's going to make him feel good when he go to work, and, and uh, uh, it just picks everybody up. In 1982, he bought the Detroit Red Wings for $8 million. The Wings were so bad in those days, Illich would give away cars to lure fans to the arena. The guy calls up uh, after my third car and said, uh, Mr. Illich, and he goes, yes, sir. He goes, uh, Joe Connemone. I said, yes, sir, Mr. Connemone. And he goes, uh, I, I want a car. I said, ah, congratulations. He goes, yeah, but you know, Mr. Illich, I don't like the color at all. So, you know, you can't satisfy everybody. <laughs> but it wasn't long before the Wings began to turn things around. In 1997, they ended a 42-year dry spell and brought the Stanley Cup back to Detroit. The city held a parade, the likes of which had never been seen before. We got more fans in Detroit than they got in the whole NHL. Take a look at that. Under Mike Illich's watch, Detroit celebrated four Stanley Cups and became known as Hockey Town. Then in 2003, Illich was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame, an honor he treasured because of his beginnings. This is really something special for a blue-collar worker raised by blue-collar parents in a blue-collar town. I want you to know you've made a young boy from the west side of Detroit one of the happiest guys in the world. But Mike Illich never rested on his past accomplishments. In 1992, he bought the Detroit Tigers from Tom Monahan for $85 million. Nothing's available when it's uh, red hot, usually, unless you want to pay uh, 25 times the value. And uh, I think it's a good time to buy. Uh, because I think this is one of the best franchises, one of the top 10 franchises in the country. Illich loved baseball. For many years, though, the Tigers could not win. And at times, they became a national punchline. You know, I love the Discovery Channel. Oh, always, always. There is a breed of tiger. They have discovered a breed of tiger with no teeth and no killer instinct. I believe they're called the Detroit Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> but all the joking just further pushed Illich to succeed. Even he admitted the Tigers were a source of concern. I tell people when I see them, I say, you know, you think you got problems? I don't want to, you know, you want to, you know, you want to buy the team, you know. But uh, I don't say buy the team, no. but I say, you know, you think you got problems right. because you know it's 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 a big problem. And produce he did a World Series appearance in 2006, another in 2012. Once the payroll was raised, so were the Tigers, and it was all because of Mike Illich. I walk on the elevator when we lose, and they'll say. Hang in there, Mr. Rivers. Hang in there. <laughs> I said, they're pumping me up. They're pumping you up, huh? Yeah. yeah. That, that, mean, that has to feel good for you. Oh, it does, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because they know I care. Mike Illich was a self-made man. From humble beginnings in Detroit, he amassed a fortune estimated to be near $3 billion. He is known as the owner of the Red Wings and the Tigers, but he also brought the Fox Theater back in the late 80s. He built a junior hockey program here in Detroit it was his influence and money that made Comerica Park possible, and his philanthropy, well, that's well known. When asked how he wanted to be remembered, Illich's humble upbringing took over. I just want to be remembered as a good father and uh, somebody who loves Detroit. You know, I just, uh, I like to be remembered as, as the, for the people that know me as, as, a, as a decent guy. Illich is survived by his wife, Marion, and their seven children. Mike Illich, dead at the age of 87.